So really, whenever you're working on your portfolio, this is what I'm doing. So basically, I'm talking to myself now. Is you have to figure out what it is that you're trying to do. Uh, with my portfolio site, a big emphasis I've always done is the blog because I've got books which cite articles and I feel like it's a courtesy to make sure that those books remain relevant to make sure that the blog aspect of my site stays up. So the portfolio side of it has always taken second fiddle to like or play second fiddle to um, the main blog site. So a lot of the designs I've been doing for desktop and mobile has been that. But looking at these portfolios, maybe think about widescreen um, and things to consider when designing for widescreen as well. Uh, if it's worth doing that to the fullest, because the thing is, the more stuff you, if you you can't you can't have text that stretches the entire screen because it becomes unreadable. But the more stuff you add to the sides of things, the harder it is to focus on one specific thing. So then you have to think about cleverly how do you utilize all of the space. Um, and so thinking about the different specs and which is why I think sites like Wix and these pre-made systems that allow you to just focus on the case study aspect. So you're not just thinking about building yeah. is a good way to go. If you've got time, building something really custom is great. But realistically, how much time do you have? Uh, and the gonna, final thing is... I was going to ask that. Are you okay with someone using like a Wix or, a, you know, Squarespace? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think because so too. What's the, I think what's the objective of the person is to showcase their work. For sure. Um, if they're a front-end engineer or front-end developer, then there's an emphasis that you should be building your site because that's you're, you're demonstrating your skills with your own thing. Um, but then, yeah, I mean, I don't know. So, I mean, the other thing is, like, as you're mentioning, is I've seen really senior, famous UX designers. They don't have a single piece of work on their portfolio. They talk about clients, but uh, because it becomes really hard to update case studies every six to 12 months because that, that requires work. But if you just speak about the skills that you have and the people that you've worked with, that's sufficient if someone wants to get in touch then you can have a one-to-one -one conversation and you have to worry about ndas and all that yeah i think we you hit the nail on the head right your portfolio content will vary depending on seniority so i think that's something that's huge but i do think there's elements that every portfolio should have i do think that having examples of companies that you've worked with that's social proof showing your process and having like leading with some high quality visuals early are all things that like you know i think add some additional you know, boost and like rec recognition. <laughs>